Well, obviously we use um, real timber for the flattage construction. Um, we use plywoods, all different types of plywoods, different thicknesses, different grades, and we also use MDF. We, increasingly we use MDF, it's, and that's ideal for the CNC machine. We still use traditional scenery materials, uh, basically three by one timber. Um, in the old days, um, scenery or flat edge used to be made flat, whereas now we tend to make it on edge, which speeds up the process quite dramatically. It's very rare that we make canvas flats anymore because that's not what is, is wanted anymore. People, uh, uh, designers, actually want something to be much more real than it was in the past. Um, what that's led to is the use of plastics. Um, we now use quad wall. Um, polycarbonate sheets which are about 7 metres by 2 metres 100 wide. Uh, we can cover a much, much bigger area substantially quicker and you, you can actually make the items much, much faster which of course saves a lot of money and gives a much better finish. It's much lighter so it's one of those win-win-win situations. We also use a fair bit of polystyrene these days. That's for like very elaborate large mouldings. It's obviously very, very light which is ideal for being on stage. Um, perspex we use and mostly we use polycarbonate which is like a fireproof, shatterproof perspex. We also use uh, a product called Vacform which is, can be made as the name says in any form and that will give you an imitation brick wall. Once it's painted it you'd never know. When it comes to new ideas and things like that it, we, could, we could be working with anything. I mean we've worked with aircraft materials in the past, we, it's anything. It could literally be anything.